Hello everyone, this is Infinity and I want to welcome you to the very first installment of the Daily Lightworker Experience. It is currently 7 p.m. in the Pacific on Monday, February 10th, 2020. So fun numbers going on there. Uh, and what this is, it's a daily download of information for a specific group or groups of light workers or the entire light worker community and collective if you want to tune in every single day i suggest it even though i may be feeling specific energies for a specific group of people um it would be good for you to know just like you want to know the weather for the nation or you know the country that you live in or the region that you live in not just your town or your home uh and this is kind of like that and every day it's going to be a little bit different as far as what we get into and where we dive into and all that stuff just depending on what's going on and the different aspects and things that I may be that may be uh the focus of and let me explain so we have different different categories here so the first category would be our zodiac signs so you know there's normally like your daily horoscope kind of thing or your your half of the month horoscope or however they do things like that or break it up well we have our our zodiac sign our 12 zodiac signs uh and we have our well, let me just go through the different categories so we have our zodiac signs we're starting with aries going down to pisces <clears throat> excuse me our next category is what kind of incarnate you are as a, as a light worker. So star seed, angelic, uh, dragon, land fairy, sea fairy, elemental, or animal. So, and actually, I the I have them in a different order. I said them I said them in a different order. But uh, it really doesn't matter. Okay, and then we have elements, water, fire, air, earth, or ether slash energy, depending on how you want to look at it. The next category would be divine masculine, divine feminine. And then we have days of the month. So that would be like your birthday, birthday of the, of the month. We also have uh, any particular crystal or crystals that may come up for us. <laughs> it's fun. Any particular crystals that may that may decide to come in and 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 want or have a message for us or or whatever you know. I don't know how to put that, but we'll get information about specific crystals to talk about and to have you guys work with. So this is something that, that comes up with me as well. If you've been following me or following me on YouTube and stuff, I do talk about crystals a lot. They are amazing. And I don't even know how many I have. <laughs> I have a lot of crystals. Uh, okay. And then we have birthdays, like I said, days of the month. So if it's a particular day that I'm feeling of the month, uh, or, you know, that's like the, your birthday or whatever, we'll get into that if, when it, if, and when it happens also age ranges, we're going by decades. So it'd be 10 to 20 year olds, 20 to 30, 30, 40, 50 to 60, 70, uh, you know, like that 60, 70, 70, 80, 80, 90, 90 to a hundred. We're leaving it between 10 and a hundred, uh, for me, if I get a specific age group or age groups to look at. And then we have numbers one through a hundred. If there's some number specifically that we should pay attention to that should, that would go along with it. And then if I'm going to employ and use any tarot cards, I have my list of tarot card decks. I have my list of Oracle card decks. And then I have a list of archangels. If there's a specific arch archangel that is coming through, uh, and of course, 
uh, room to write in other names. <laughs> I sat here just typing up names and I'm like, all right, anybody else can just tell me. <laughs> and then we have, uh, if I'm going to do cardamancy and if I'm going to do any automatic writing to get information for these, for this group or groups of people. So like, let's say for example, we get, uh, I'm feeling it for Libras and Aquarius and they're going to be angelics and, and also the elements that they're going to be working with more feeling where you're going to be earth signs. I'm feeling both divine feminine and masculine. You know what I mean? I'm just going to go through the whole thing and that's going to be kind of our focus for that day. Just so however I'm guided for the day, uh, and what I'm going to try to do is do these the night before. So I'm going to post these the night before and so have these ready. So, so today's that we're going to do is going to be for tomorrow. So this is going to be tomorrow's forecast, if you will, um, for the daily light worker experience. I'm going to try to keep these to uh, 45 minutes to an hour. I'm not going to take deep, deep dives into stuff. If I'm guided to do that, uh, I may say, okay, we're going to do a companion on this or we're going to circle back and dive deeper into this aspect of where we're being guided. But otherwise, we're going to try to keep whatever information I'm bringing to this group or groups of people uh, to about 45 minutes to an hour so we're not having to invest too too much time any of us to get this information so without further ado let's get into it and the way that i have this i think i'm going to post this uh, uh i'm not sure even how i would do that but anyway i have this in a spreadsheet and i just have I just made a spreadsheet. I've been obsessed with this all day. It's the first slide. It's all I could think about all day. So obviously, because I was like, I want to do something daily, but I can't do like everybody's like signs and I can't just pick one sign that feels weird. And then it just kept kind of morphing in my head over these last couple days. And then today I woke up with this in mind where I would have all these different things. And depending on what was going on, I would be guided to who it is specifically maybe that really needs this information. Uh, and because we're all connected, there could be, you know, different people on different sides of the teeter totter. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> That's how it's going to work. So I'm excited for this, you guys. I hope you're into it too. And I do hope I want to do this every day. Uh, I'm sure there may be days where I, I can't get to it for whatever reason. But we're going to we're gonna go with the idea that this is the daily lightworker experience.